everyone, so this is a hairstyle that has been requested for me to do a lot, and it's using a curling iron. And I already have maybe three or four tutorials on using just a curling iron, and you probably think, how many different ways can you curl your hair with a curling iron, especially since I've used this curling iron in a video before. Um, it all has to do with the products, what you're going for, what look you're going for, and the look I'm going for is actually... I wore it when I was in Atlanta when we had the meetup at Sephora with a bunch of girls that lived in Atlanta and I will put a picture of that right here. Then I'm going to a dance very very soon and I had to find a dress for it. So while I was in Atlanta I went into Betsy Johnson and filmed this gorgeous dress and I twit picked it and asked you guys if you thought it was, you know, if I should get it, what your opinion on it was and my hair was styled like this. Um, more people commented on my hair than they did the dress. They were like, oh my gosh, you know, tutorial for it. But I'll put a picture of that dress right here. Oh, and by the way, actually I bought that dress like maybe two or three days before New Year's and guess who wore it to a celebrity New Year's party? Leona Lewis. How cool is that? And also, this is the same hair that I have in my Demi Lovato makeup tutorial. So I'm going to link that over in the sidebar because I told you guys I would do a tutorial on the hair um, a couple months ago. And I just never got around to it. But anyways, I started kind of messing around with what kind of curling irons I needed to get the best look that would look like um, Miley Cyrus's hair, which I was always like just, oh my gosh, over. Um, and this is the way that I found was the best. I love my hair like this. It does take a little bit longer than I spend if I'm just going to straighten my hair, but I feel like it's totally worth it. And I love how I'm wearing it at the mall and it looks totally casual and it's just like, oh, you know, she curled her hair. Cool. But yet if I wear it with my Betsy Johnson dress, which I will be doing, um, at that dance, it totally looks formal. So you could wear this to a wedding, you can wear it to a dance, you can wear it to any sort of formal event that you have to go to, and it will also work on any length hair as long as a curling iron will wrap around your hair. Um, so I guess like bobs, it probably won't work, but hair from like shoulder length and down, you guys can do this one. One inch curling iron by Bedhead. Um, I have a two inch one as well, but this is my one inch one, and this is what I'm using. I'm not in love with this curling iron. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy this exact curling iron again, but any one inch curling iron that you can find, I got this at Target for maybe like $19, um, and it's lasted me a long time. I just don't like how this little thing comes off. Like there used to be a plastic thing, but it fell off, so now this heats up and your fingers burn when you touch it. Ow. But just so you guys know, I keep it on the highest heat setting when I'm doing my hair. So I really hope you guys like this, and it is such an easy hairstyle to do. It is so easy that it's like pathetic that I'm doing a tutorial saying, look how you do it, when you're like, that's really easy. But, um, yeah. It will definitely start falling throughout the day. Um, hairspray is going to be your BFF for this hairstyle. If you have any requests for any hair tutorials or makeup tutorials that you want me to do, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so I already have a couple of products in my hair, and that is because what I did was I took a shower, and before I blue dry my hair, I put two products in. The first one is the Chi Volume Booster, and what you do with this is while your hair is still wet, you flip your head over and you spray your roots with this, probably about eight pumps all over your scalp, and then it is supposed to help you just have a little bit more volume. Um, so I use that. And then I use the Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion, and I use this every single day. If I had one hair product I could use, it would be this. It helps my hair not be so frizzy, and it is also a heat protectant for your blow dryer, because a lot of people don't use their heat protectant until they're ready to start styling, but your blow dryer gives heat to your hair too, so you want to make sure you're protecting from that. Okay, so this is very, very easy to do. You do it one time, you know what to do, and you do your entire head like that. It is a little bit time consuming because we are gonna take smaller pieces of hair, but overall, it's very easy to do. So we're going to section our hair off. Some people like to do all of the bottom first, then all of the middle, then all of the top. I don't like to do that. I like to do one side completely. So I'm just going to tie this so the hair doesn't mix in with my other hair and put this like this so that it is out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to start on this side. I'm going to take from right above my ear, going all the way back, 
and take this and then I'm just going to section this hair off. Okay, so now we have this. Now you want to spray it with a heat protectant. I'm using the Got To Be Guardian Angel because this is actually for if you're curling your hair, which a lot of heat protectants are for if you're straightening your hair, so it's going to weigh your hair down and make it straight, but we don't want it like that. So make sure you try to find one that is good for curling hair. And I coat a good amount of sprays on this and make sure you get the ends. Okay, then you can brush that out because I find that if you brush it, it makes it dry a lot quicker. Okay, so now we're going to start. I'm going to take a piece of hair that isn't as big as we usually curl. It's just about this big. And I'm going to put the other hair behind my shoulder so that we don't get it mixed up. Then I'm going to curl away from my face. So I'm going to put the clamp in like this and curl up. Oh, I miss this little baby hair. That's okay. Okay, so you want to hold it in for a while. The longer the hair, the more you should hold it in. And then we're going to take it down and see how it's going to make you have a very tight curl. You just leave that and you take another piece of hair and you do the exact same thing. Teddy, why are you whining? Why are you whining? He says, because you're not giving me any attention. Okay, so we're going to take this piece of hair right here. Curl it going down. I have to hold my bottom layers a lot longer than I have to hold the top layers. I don't know why, maybe because they're longer. Not really sure, but I always have had to. The bottom layers of my hair want to be like stick straight. So I'm going to hold it on for about 10 seconds. This is actually so easy. So now I'm going to take it down and you have your little curls. That's it. That's all you have to do. How super easy is that? Super easy. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this layer. does not only depend on the size of the curling iron, it also depends on how much hair you put in the curling iron. So I like to switch it up because I don't want this to be such a uniform look where every curl is the exact same. So what I do is some I take smaller pieces of hair and then some I take bigger and I kind of alternate it. So I like to spray my hair after I finish with a layer or like a little section. If you have very hard to curl hair, I would recommend spraying after every single time. So after you take the curling iron out, spray that one. Do another, take the curling iron out, spray that one, but I'm able to wait until the end of doing my layers. They hold for that long. Okay, so, oh, this is the Sebastian Shaper that I got at Ulta. Um, it's just Sebastian Originals. Um, so I'm just going to spray all of my hair, and you want to use a lot of hairspray. For this look, you need lots and lots of hairspray. Okay, so now I'm going to move that behind me and take these layers out, or section, sorry, I am so out of it right now. Okay, I'm going to section off another little piece, put this up here, okay, so now we have this, I'm going to brush it out and spray it with heat protectant. Okay, so now that you have the hair that's already curled behind your shoulder, you can't really throw this behind your shoulder. So what I like to do is start with this furthest back little section, and I'm going to curl this going away from my um, face. So, put that in there. Take it out. And guess what, you guys? That's it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my entire head. This side is the exact same way. If you have your hair parted on the side, know that one side is going to take you longer to finish and you are going to have more layers you do on this side. Usually I have four layers on this side and three layers on this side, depending on how much hair I want to put in the curling iron. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how I finish it up.
Okay, you want to take your fingers and kind of shake through it like this. Just kind of pull your hair back at the roots and shake through it a little bit. So shake it out. Now I'm going to spray like you've never sprayed before. Pretend like you're a skunk and just spray. Oh, what I love about this hairspray is that it's not going to get hard on your hair. So you can spray as much as you want and it's not going to make your hair um, hard. It's just going to hold the curls in place. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and that you realize that you can totally wear this to a dance or a wedding or something that is really, really formal or you can just wear it to go out to the mall. All in all, when I'm doing it and I'm not worried about like, a camera being there and doing everything perfect and everything like that, it usually takes me about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, it depends on how long your hair is and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!